Hi everyone, you're going to be using Microsoft Teams throughout this term to interact with your TAs as well as your instructors for your various courses. So come on with me, we're going to learn about Microsoft Teams. To download the app, log into your Analytical Chemistry Brightspace account and then under content you can find Getting Help Teams Meetings. In this, you can select the Microsoft Teams webpage and you will find various information on how you can actually contact us through Microsoft Teams. To download the app in the Getting Started Microsoft Teams paragraph, you can click Teams Desktop App. In this, let's download the app for our desktop and download Teams. And once your download is complete, let's open the executable. And once your Microsoft Teams has been downloaded, and installed onto your computer, your various teams should open up onto your desktop. In this, I have various teams. For instance, I have Chemistry Chem 2201. So once you have requested to join this team, you can select your class and you'll be able to join in in the various meetings that we will be having within Microsoft Teams. For instance, if you were scheduled in breakout room four, for one of your remote lab meetings, you would select breakout room number four, and then at the appropriate time, you would be able to join a meeting. Or if you wanted to do this on your own and meet your peers, you could select meet and meet now. Alternatively, in Microsoft Teams, you can make calls to each other or set up your own teams. So to make a call, you can add a contact by selecting calls and then contacts, and then you could add a contact. You type in the username. In my case, I'm looking for Alan Doucette. And then I'm going to add Alan as my contact. To make a call, you could select here to make a video call, or you could call for here making an audio call. Now, for your remote lab meeting, it is very important and crucial that you should be able to share your pre-lab questions with your peers and the TAs. To do this, first open your pre-lab question file and have your pre-lab questions open on your desktop. Now, let's begin a Teams meeting. So now let's go to breakout room number three and let's meet. So during the meeting, if you would like to be able to share your file, in the bottom middle menu, there's this open share tray. So let's select this. And in, in this share feature, there's an option window, pretty much in the center viewing. So these are all the open windows that you have on your desktop. I am going to scroll down and find my pre-lab questions and select that window. Now all your peers and your TAs should be able to see your pre-lab question and all your rough, rough work that you've taken an image of and uploaded into the file. Your peers or your TA could also take control of this file and make comments. So during your pre-lab meetings, you will be asked to share your various pre-lab questions and discuss it with your group. So make sure you do your pre-lab questions well ahead of time. To stop sharing, in the bottom lower hand right, you can click this feature and stop sharing and it takes you back to Microsoft Teams.